welcome. I'm Ryan Shrout with Intel, joined by my good buddy, Tom Peterson. Hey guys. And we are here to talk a little bit more about Intel Arc graphics and some exciting and interesting changes we're, we're it bringing out. It is a big day, Ryan. A big day. It's important, as the uh, slide behind me might indicate, this is all about DirectX 9 performance. Uh, you know what? DirectX 9 is such a big API because it's got some huge legacy titles that everybody's playing. And the truth is, when we launched Arc, uh, we were not satisfied with our performance on DX9. We knew that we had work left to do. For and sure. the engineers have been busy, and they have delivered. So I wanted to share a little bit of detail about what's been going on and where are we now. Let's do it. All right, let's dive into it. So first of all, start with the lead, right? We have improved performance by up to 1.8x on DX9. It's, it's a crazy number. Uh, average frame rate, 1.8x performance improvements. Uh, this particular instance is about CSGO, yep. right? Yep. There's a bigger number on the right where we talk about 99th percentile FPS. 2.3x improvement on the percentile FPS. Now, those of you guys that are into this kind of stuff know that percentiles kind of show you about smoothness. So our driver's not just more performance, but it's better experiences. It's smoother gameplay. And let me tell you a little bit about what we've done, right? Yeah. So when we launched, we made a, a claim that we are most focused on modern APIs, DX12 and Vulkan, and none of that has changed, right? But we weren't satisfied with where we ended up on DX9, so we've been working on it. And today, we've already launched the driver, it was posted this week, uh, to do a native implementation of DX9. That's a big investment for us, they've been working really hard on it, the engineers have really crushed it. But the truth is, you know, we're still focused on these more modern style APIs. So there will be times when a game is gonna run on our native DX implementation, but there'll be other times when we take advantage of translation layers to go from DX9 to a more modern API. So our new approach is to use a hybrid. We're doing both of those technologies and we're gonna switch automatically. So kind of whenever you load a game, you're gonna get the best experience no matter what technology is under the hood. Very cool. Now we've got the image here of the uh Intel Arc A770 Limited Edition, lovely card, wonderful. Uh, but this doesn't just apply to the no, A770. No, it does not. It applies to A770, A750, and A380, and as well as notebook designs. Exactly. So this is basically rising the boat for all of our graphics cards. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is, you know, just briefly, why do we care about the X9 games? You mentioned it. Hey, yeah. this is a, a, an incredibly <laughs> important API it still, is. even it though is. you know we've got modern DX12 Vulcan it's out true. there. But you know, there's this thing called esports. Right, I heard about this. These <laughs> and, are kind of important. and they're all. D I mean, they're not all, but a lot of them are yes. DX9 yes. titles, and and some of them are hugely important. Like this one, for example, CS:GO. Right, CS:GO has more than or around a million concurrent users every day. It's amazing. it's amazing. And their prize pools are huge, and their wins are huge, and everybody loves it. So we cannot be a graphics vendor without doing a great job on CSGO. Yeah, how much of this $142 million prize pool have you won? I have won exactly zero. Ryan, yourself? Uh, about the same. About the roughly same. The, roughly the same. Uh, but, you know, like, I, I uh, uh, you know, we have the Intel Extreme Masters, part of the ESL series, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I've, wa I've watched a lot of these tournaments, yeah. and I've watched, love the skill that we get on, on, on those guys. But you can see going from 177 to 318 frames per second. It's crazy. Esports all about frame rate. Yep. Right. Uh, but this is the sense of scale that, that of how much these games bring. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the, the key thing is instead of talking about a chart, let's take a look. All right. all right, Ryan, I'm super excited to show this demo. So what are we looking at? So we're playing CSGO. We're actually watching a replay of CSGO. Okay. This particular one is uh, a tournament in Berlin in 2019. Uh, it had a million dollar prize pool. A winning, million dollar prize pool. And the winners? Uh, Astralis was the winning team. They won $500,000. It's not, a bad, uh, not I, a bad haul. Yeah, this, this is uh, going to be more entertaining for the audience than watching me try to play the game. <laughs> um, but, but what we're looking at here is the performance. On the left is the uh, uh, 3490 driver. Our this older is from driver. October yep. timeframe, mm -hmm. pre our DX9 improvements, right? And on your side is the newer driver that just posted this week. Okay, that's amazing. So if you just start off by looking at the rough numbers, this is just fraps running up on the top. You can see around 200 on the older driver and we're up to around 380 or so on the new driver. Now that's gonna obviously vary depending on your scene and depending yes. on inside, outside, but the, but the increase in performance is just astounding. Yeah, it'll, in, in some scenes, it's going to be more than 2x difference. In some scenes, it'll be a little bit less than that. Uh, but we're showing roughly 80% in this particular workload is our is our claim for it. Right? Yeah, so and I, also, I also noticed that there's a smoother. This is actually running a little bit more, you know, less jerky. 
Uh, yes, right. So the the older driver, you're going to have you know lower frame rates, a little bit more frame time variation. Mm -hmm. We'll show a little chart of that mm -hmm. in a second mm -hmm. as well. Uh, you can see some of it just propped up there too. Uh, but on the newer driver, smoother, higher frame rates, and for esports, that's everything. It's about latency. Yeah. It's about yeah. you know input latency. Well, if you have high frame rates, there. you have lower input latency, which makes your accuracy go up, and it's it's almost necessary to be successful in esports. So, delivering you know a huge speed up in DX9. Uh, I gotta say the engineering team has knocked it out of the park. Let's go look at some other games. All right, well that's pretty cool. We obviously showed tremendous performance improvement. It's a lot smoother, it's a lot faster, it's a lot lower latency. Overall, it's an implementation we can be proud of. I, th I think those guys play better than us. They play a lot better than yeah. us. I mean, the Australians. <laughs> the Australians. <laughs> All right, so it's not just about CSGO though. Of course. Right? We've course. implemented a, a, a huge improvement across many different games. So let's pull up a list here. And you can see this is our old driver running on uh, these existing DX9 games. Mm -hmm. And the performance is playable, but it's really not where we want it to be. Right, right. This is what it looks like with our new driver. Dramatically better. Even So we've got CSGO on there again. Again, these are performances you can see at 1080p, also at 1440p. Yeah. Right? So it's not just one resolution that we focused on. Absolutely. I would Star actually say our, our bigger wins are on 1440p. And, and StarCraft 2 still in there. Tom I and I have a little Starcraft bit of a history on this at LAN parties um, uh, from, uh, from years and years ago. Things. And then League of Legends on here, right? Huge title. Massive. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, but now if you normalize it, it's a little bit more clear what the story is. And you can see our performance improvement, dramatic across the board uh, gains for DX9. Yep. Now it's not just about average performance, it's about the experience. And the best way to think about that is to take a look at a frame time chart. This is that same uh, replay of mm -hmm. CSGO that mm -hmm. we were talking And this is our old driver. You can see these kind of up and down lines. What that means is the frame time's long, then it's short, then it's long, then it's short. And that manifests itself as kind of a stuttery, hitchy kind of feeling. You and I have talked about these phenomena quite a bit. We have. Over the years, right? And this is not ideal. This, this, is, is, not, this is not where you want to be. It's not where you want to be. Let me show you where you want to be, Ryan. Okay. So this is what we are now delivering with our new driver. And you can see the line is not just a lot lower on average, which is higher average performance, but it's a lot tighter, which means that the experience that we're delivering is gonna be a lot smoother. Yeah, and we actually saw some of that even watching the demo and going through the replay. Yeah, you see those little too, hitches yeah. on your side? Yeah. My side was buttery smooth. It was, yeah. it was. So frame times are important. Now there's another way to look at this. Rather than just looking at frame time charts, you can do percentiles, yep. and that gives you a sense of how does this look across a lot of different games. So what we're showing you here is our old percentile measurement, uh, 99th percentile in the purple, and the blue is showing you how much we've improved it with our new driver. And again, the numbers are giant. Yeah, so even bigger than the average frame rate, the experience metric, I yep, guess, is yep. one way to consider it, right? Yep. Is better, right? 2.26x, 2.1x uh, at 1440p on CSGO, right? These are these are huge differences. I mean, I've been an engineer for a long time, time and you don't normally see stuff <laughs> like this, I can tell you for sure. So I'm really, really uh, just grateful for all the hard work that our engineering team has done. I think our gamers are absolutely going to be delighted. So it's pretty exciting. So let's come back to the summary. The summary is we're up to 1.8x faster on DX9 titles. That's that's just you know huge. And our experience is up to 2.3x better as measured by 99th percentile. That means we're smoother and we're faster. Now sometimes when we show slides like this in previous videos, we have to say like, oh, and coming next week, yeah. you'll, get this, you'll be able to buy this, or hey, the button, you know, whatever. This is actually a little secret. This driver's actually been out for probably a couple of days yeah, as you view yeah, this video. Yeah. Um, so 35, 93 plus. Yeah, anything past that driver number. Yeah, we'll have these DX9 improvements and, and changes. And, and I just love it. It's a simple message we're trying to send to our gamers. Hey, if you're playing DX9, we've got a great driver for you. Download it. You're going to be dramatically improved experience. This is great. Uh, so you can find more of our content at arc.intel.com. You can see if you want to learn about uh, XCSS or ray tracing and this stuff that we did in the build up to launch, you know, all, that stuff. all that is in there. Uh, you can also find the link to where to go download the driver. You can see all the, the charts and graphs from, uh, from this particular video as well. And uh, we thank you guys for the time and uh, we'll be back soon.